Transmission. Packet loss detected. Establishing frame buffer to mitigate data loss. Video feed initialized. Hello? Hello, is this camera working? Gosh, what the? There we go. Okay, can, can you can you hear me? Good. Okay. We need to talk. It's no question that my community is filled with amazingly talented people. And I'm just gonna say it, you're, you're better. You're better than me. Some of you are better builders. Some of you, better data packers. Some of you, both. And your talents deserve to be seen. And that's why every so often I put on a community challenge where you guys build something amazing and I get to show off that amazing work. So today, I am excited to announce Avid Community Challenge Season 4. And if you want to enter, well, baby, you better start paying attention. No idea why I said it that way. <laughs> Just listen to the rules, okay? It's no coincidence that I'm floating outside of my Haunted Castle project. In that video, I tried out something different. My wonderful friend, Leon SBU, created this magnificent castle. And I mean, seriously, that was a mega project for him. But of course, where his project ended, my project began. I took his insanely gorgeous castle and turned it into a dungeon, complete with traps and an entire boss fight. And I'm not gonna lie, this quest would not have existed if we didn't both work together to make it happen. So, what does this have to do with ACC4? In my Discord, I created a message, and I asked you guys to react to that message with a 1 or a 2. What does that mean? Well, I'll tell you. In my Haunted Castle video, Leon was the builder, he was number one, and I was the data packer and boss builder, number two. But don't jump to conclusions, there aren't going to be teams. Those who picked number one, you have three weeks to make a build. That means it's due February 23rd, 2024 at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. After all the number one submissions have come in, I'm going to do a live stream and the judges and I are going to pick the best ones. Then, number twos, it's your turn. All of the selected builds will then be randomly shuffled and assigned to number twos. Yes, I understand, there will be more number twos than number ones at this point. That's okay, multiple people are gonna get the same build. And number twos, your goal is to fill that build with traps and a boss. And you will also get three weeks. And I should... It, Okay, the exact due date will be figured out later. Why are there more? Are they multiplying? <clears throat> the exact due date will be figured out later once the live stream and judging is complete for the number ones. Let's talk about the judging criteria. Number ones, you'll be judged on the following criteria. One, the beauty of your build. Number two, does the build fit Avid Adventures lore? And number three, did you make it easy for your data packer friend? Is there a boss arena? Did you leave breadcrumbs and hints for them to be successful? And then, number twos, it's your turn. You will be judged on the following. Number one, mechanics. Did you come up with some very interesting boss and trap mechanics? Number two, did you adhere to Avid Adventures lore with your boss? And number three, is your boss fairly well balanced? Remember, I'm not good at Minecraft, so don't make it too hard. It's important to realize that number ones and number twos, you will be graded entirely separately, even though your work will be part of one final map. That means ACC4 will have two winners selected by the judges. There will also be two winners selected by the community. I mean, it's okay, did you really have to walk in? A and since we're talking about winners, let's talk about the prizes. ACC4 is a lot simpler for prizes. All of them are the same, no matter who wins. Number one, you will gain one month access to my Avid Adventures server. Number two, you will get 1,000 Adventure Bot artifacts. Number three, you will get a very special and highly coveted role in my Discord. Ooh, shiny. And number four, I will donate $50 to the charity of your choice. The reason we're not doing direct prize money this time is because it's really complicated with a lot of different countries and different ages, and it's just from a legal perspective, it's a lot easier to just donate to charity, and so I hope that's okay. Of course, there will be a lot more details in my Discord, so head there if you want to know all of the ins and outs of this challenge. And as always, guys, I am ridiculously excited to see what you come up with. So... Let's get ready.